You know, I'm starting to see a lot of videos. I'm starting to see quite a few videos of women in general, mainly so-called black females, making videos of being attacked by men. Um, some of it is random attacks that for whatever reason, the man decided to target this woman. Uh, there's other cases where the dude walked up, tried to talk to the woman. She wasn't interested. He started disrespecting her. And then she started becoming more aggressive. See, we're living in times where women are more aggressive. They have this false sense of reality. They think because they lift weights, they work out. Um, in many cases, these women have muscles, they're bodybuilders. So in their mind, they think that they can handle a man. So they become aggressive with men. Uh, they run their mouth with men. Even in the midst of danger, they see that this guy is annoyed or agitated, not justifying any of his actions. But you see that he's a threat to you. And somewhere in your mind, you're convinced by society that you're strong or you're just as strong as a man. So you run your mouth to this man, you're calling this man out of his name, you're aggressive, you're violent, you're telling this man to hit you or what have you. Then the man turns around and do what you don't expect him to do, treat you like a man. See, a lot of this is caused by the so-called feminist movement. See, I grew up in a time where if a man disrespects a woman, she would say, I got somebody for you. She had a brother. She had cousins. She had uncles. The men in her life would come to her defense. She didn't have to get in the man's face. She didn't have to become threatening to that man, telling that man how she's going to slap him or she's going to beat his behind or she's aggressive or she's kind of like she's throwing up dukes at this dude. She didn't do that. All that woman had to do was hold her peace and say, I got somebody for you. And then the men of her family, the men in her life will come to her defense. But we now have women that society convinced they're just as strong and equal to a man. And so you have a lot of aggressive and violent females that's unprepared. Now, again, I don't condone men putting their hands on women. I also don't condone women putting their hands on men because I know cases where men are not aggressive towards a woman. She's always trying to scratch him up. She's always trying to put her hands on him and he's trying to restrain her or avoid him. And then she threatens to call the police on him after she finished functioning him on after she finished harassing him and provoking him. And then when he reacts, she threatened to call the police on him. Men are now tired. And I want to say, and there's women that may not like this, but a lot of women started, especially so-called black females, started this whole gender war between them and the so-called black men. And for many years, Black men had took all kind of assaults. Men, black men took so much abuse off of women, didn't hit them back, went to jail behind them. Uh, there's guys that were murdered behind these females. These aggressive females that started trouble with these dudes. And then she went and got somebody else. He came back. They got into it and the man lost his life. There's guys that lost their life behind these females. Right. So now it's at a point where especially black females are the most unprotected women on this planet. To the point now we're seeing videos where black females are being beat down by police. At one time, police used to protect them. They still do to a certain degree. But now you have a lot of law enforcement don't have any kind of respect for black women. 
and they're beating and kneeing and kicking and punching this female in the head and she's on the ground covered up because now they are not treating her like she's a woman. They're treating her like she's a man. See, so, but I will say to the innocent women out there that's being victims of attack, you need to click on this link right here. There's a link right here. See that? Better yet, let me see, right there, protectionknives.com. You need to go to that website and you need to buy you some protection. Keep it in your purse. Because I saw a video of this woman that was on the subway in New York that this dude just haul off for whatever reason, he hauled off and punched this female in her face and she was bleeding. She was completely shocked that he did this to her. Then there's another video where this dude punched this black female in her mouth. But she was calling him a B. She was saying that he had feminine energy and the dude was aggressive. And he told her, now I'm gonna tell y'all something. This dude that told her, that punched this female in her mouth, he walked up to another man and said, is that your B? Now, that dude, something must have been wrong with him because if that was that man's woman, you called her out of her name. You disrespected her and you disrespected him. And no real man is going to tolerate that. He's going to jump to the defense of his woman. So right there should have told you that this guy is not wrapped too tight in his mind. For him to walk up to a man and say, is that your B? Right? And when it found out that that wasn't his woman, he went back and punched her in the mouth. He said, say it again. She told me that he had feminine energy. He punched her in the mouth. And now she's got a big goose egg on her lip and she's crying. There's a lot of females now that's crying because they were attacked by men. And it's not black men that's attacking black women. It's men in general because you got police officers beating down women especially black females, because there's too many aggressive women out there, aggressive towards men. These women, things have, things have, have, have swung in their favor for so long, they lost touch with reality. See, so, but a lot of y'all, you need to get you some protection, carry your blade or what have you in your purse, pepper spray, stun gun, whatever, but you can go to protectionknives.com. It's kind of hard to tell on this camera. Protectionknives.com. And you need to get you some protection, right? Carry it in your purse because you never know and you have to be aware. You need to start being more aware of your surroundings. You know, a lot of y'all are just spoiled, man. You think that you think you don't think danger or disaster can come to you. See, that's the mindset of today's society. Start being more aware of your surrounding and people that surround you. If you get a dude that's aggressive towards you like that, just smile and walk away from him. But at the same time, while you're walking away, you're also preparing yourself. You're going inside your purse or your pocket just in case this, this, this dude decide to swing on you. So feedback, tell me what you think, go to protectionknives.com, get you some protection and carry it in your purse until next time.